In this video, we're going to add and subtract algebraic fractions. Now, adding and subtracting algebraic fractions is the same as adding and subtracting normal fractions. You've got to make sure they have a lowest common denominator before you add the numerators together. So for this first one here, we've got 5 over c plus 4 over t. Now, the lowest common denominator of c and t is ct. So to get my common denominators of ct, the first fraction I'm going to have to multiply by t, and the second fraction multiplied by c. Remember, I do that to top and bottom. So 5 times t is 5t, and 4 times c is 4c. Now I have a common denominator. I can add the tops together. And 5t plus 4c over ct. And then 5t plus 4c does not simplify it. So there is my answer. Let's look at the next one. y over 3 minus b over a. So the lowest common denominator of 3 and a is 3a. So I'm going to both put them over 3a. Let's take away some. So to this fraction here, to get 3a on the bottom, I had to times it by a, top and bottom. And this one, to get 3a on the bottom, I have to times it by 3. So I'm going to get y times a is ay b times 3 is 3b. So now I have a common denominator, I can take away the tops, so I've got ay minus 3b over 3a. ay minus 3b does not simplify, so there's my answer. Last one here, I've got 2 over x plus 3 over x squared. Well, the lowest common denominator of x and x squared is actually x squared. Okay, because x squared times 1 is x squared, and x squared, but x times x is x squared. So, to get x squared on the bottom here, I only need to multiply it by 1. And on this side, I multiply it by x. So, 2 times x is 2x. 3 times 1 is 3. I've got a common denominator, so I can add the tops together and put it over the common denominator of x squared. So, my answer is 2x plus 3 all over x squared.